Hi everybody, this is Patrick from EngineeringShark.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is a new product that will be uh, introduced to EngineeringShark.com in a couple days. I'll have the link below as soon as it's up. It's a uh, four-channel infrared relay board, a learning relay board. And uh, what it does is it takes four signals from an infrared remote, learns them, saves them to into uh, internal memory, and uh, allows for you to control these high-powered electromagnetic switches by simply using an infrared remote from across the room. It's wireless. Uh, it comes with uh, a compatible remote, although many of your household infrared remotes will be compatible. A uh, fully assembled, or I'm also going to be selling it in kit form. I'll make an assembly video. The uh, four-channel infrared learning remote, or, or learning uh, relay board, and an AC adapter. Now, the AC adapter is rated for 120 volts AC to 240 volts AC in. 50 to 60 hertz. It's compatible with most power sources in the world relative to wall outlets and it plugs right into the DC power jack. So to train it what we have to do is we have to take a two pin jumper and place it over the PG pins for, for program. So what I'm going to do now is offer a demonstration. Uh, training the unit only takes about 15 seconds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, to program in buttons 0, 1, 2, 3. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to. So 0 is going to correspond to this relay, 1 to this relay, 2 to this relay, and 3 to this relay. So I'm going, literally just going to plug it in, and I'm going to press those three buttons. I'm going to hold it, button 0. And as long as I hold down that button, that LED will stay on. I'll let go. That's been programmed. 1, 2, and 3. And once I've done that, the indicator LED will stay on, and uh, that means I've successfully programmed in the code. Now, there are LEDs that correspond to each relay as a visual indicator to tell you when a relay is turned on and off. You can disable those LEDs to save power by removing the LED underscore EN for LED enable jumper, uh, but we'll get to that in just a second. So now what I'm going to do is unplug it, wait for about 15 seconds to... Uh, drain off the power on the capacitors um, and I'm going to remove the PG jumper and we're going to put that away for the time being and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to power it up and we're going to test it. I'll plug it back in and I've got no jumpers on the headers there. I'm going to press 0 and I'm going to let go. Press it, let go. Uh, and that, I've pressed 0 so this relay turns on for as long as I hold down the button, and as soon as I let go, it turns off. So I'm going to press 1, then 2, then 3. Now I'm going to press a button that doesn't correspond to any of the codes that we've pressed. And the indicator LED just says, okay, I'm receiving an infrared code, but it doesn't match these codes saved in EEPROM memory. So there's a little header here called A. And if you have no jumper on it, we are in um, momentary mode, which I just demonstrated. Relays only stay on for as long as you hold down the corresponding button. So I'm going to, I can, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a jumper on the A pin. Now I could do that on the fly. And now if I press 0, we're in latching mode. I'm not pressing anything. We're in latching mode. So that relay stays on. I can press it again. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3 to toggle them off. So 0, 1, <clears throat> two, three, three, two, one, zero. Now here's some extra interesting things. So I'm going to press zero, one, two. I'll leave three alone, and I'll remove the LED enable jumper. Now to save power, those LEDs, the the visual indicators, cannot be turned on, but the indicator LED is not affected. So I'll put the LED enable jumper back on. And we've still got two relays on. If I want to do a manual turn off of all the relay, I want, to, I want to clear all the relays, turn them all off manually, just press the cell button. So that's the demonstration. It's very easy to use, very easy to program. And uh, if you don't know about relays, uh, what they are essentially, they're just isolated high power switches that can switch on uh, relatively high power DC devices, AC devices, lamps, solenoids, uh, this and that. There are three pins per relay. Um, you might not be able to see it from here, but they're labeled CO, NO, and NC. NC is normally closed or normally connected. CO is common, and NO is normally open. So when the relay is off, the common pin is connected to the normally closed pin. So the left two pins are connected to each other when the relay is off. When the relay is turned on, the common pin disconnects from the normally 
closed pin and connects to the normally open pin. So it's literally just an isolated high powered on off switch, each of these relays. So you can use them for just about anything electrical. Anyhow, uh, let me just show you the back quickly. We'll sell these in DIY kit form and in fully assembled form, and I'll be making a, an assembly video very soon. So thank you very much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it, and if you haven't already, check us out at engineeringshock.com, electroniclessons.com, and or paintballprops.com. Take care, guys.